Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make a jack-o'-lantern or a pumpkin just in time for Halloween and this will be made out of play-doh, completely out of play-doh. Okay, so this will be very helpful for those who can't get their hands on polymer clay and just want a cheaper way to have fun and celebrate the holiday very artistically I suppose you could say so first off I have this ball of orange and this is a really really neon orange so I hope it's not too obnoxious on screen and now what we're going to do is first off decide the shape of your pumpkin I kind of want mine to be a little oval like so I'm just doing that and now I'm taking this tool but you don't have to use that you just use a drawing tool I'm just using it as a guideline. I swear, go. I think it makes a cool effect. And then what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing. I'm just following the lines here. And go all the way down to the bottom. And yeah, you can see I've accidentally left a crevice there. So that's annoying, but I will. And I will try to do this quickly. You can use any blade. Play-Doh is so soft that it doesn't need like a heavy duty blade like I'm using right now. Sorry, I've just got a piece of Play-Doh. That's annoying me. Make sure if you are using an X-Acto blade that you're not digging in too deep. So I will also try to post up a polymer clay tutorial. Um, I've got a ice cream in mind, zombie ice cream. But anyway, so there's our pumpkin to start with. Now we're going to do the pumpkin stem. So I have some brown here or you can use green if you like and I'm going to take a piece of that and just roll it out and chop it where you want to I'm going to take this tool and just widen up the area at the top so I can place my stem in there and I'm just going to do like press it in using that tool as well plus you get this cool look to it so here we have our basic pumpkin so I'm also going to add some green which is what you saw me move forward before so I have these pieces of green that I've already rolled out. The reason why I've rolled out everything before is because it'll be not time saving and um, so you don't get any bumping or anything like that. So I'm just going to attach this at the top. So you'll want to start at the top and then you can just curl it around. like that and you can add as many of these as you like I'm going to have three this one a little shorter so there are the vines 
And now, of course, for the Jack o Lantern face, I have it pre-cut out right here, if I can grab it. Now, I have black Play-Doh, which I purchased in a 24-pack of color Play-Doh. Uh, black Play-Doh, very hard to find. So, if you don't have this, you can just use um, Everyday Permanent Marker once it's dried, or you can put on right now. But I'm just using black Play-Doh. So, pick your spot and then press it on. And yeah, I just cut out two triangles and this sort of W shaped mouth. Excuse me, I have glaze on my hand. And there we have a Jacko Lantern completely made out of Play-Doh. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was quick and didn't take too long. And yeah, let me know what you think and I hope this helped you guys. A bunch feel free to comment and ask below and if you're looking on how to dry this um, little guy I can show you um, I have a video that you can look at and I'll link that in the description I will be doing HD version of that later or s sooner but yeah again hope you liked it um, and I'll see you later happy